Yeah, I'm delighted. Um, obviously, look, Oren's a big part in that. Um, I heard a bit about him before I came into the league, and obviously he had just departed um, for St Mirren. And obviously, since he's come back into the league, they've been very, very good. I know a good few of the lads there, and we've had some great games against them, especially um, our battles in the cup with Larn, especially some, I think, two memorable good games. Um, so look, I'm delighted to get it done. Um, I'm delighted to be a part of this club, and I'm delighted to commit my future here. I think you know one of the easiest things is that particularly with teams in our league when you play them so often with, with the nature of the league and cup um, that you very quickly get to know um, the majority of players in the league and, um, and Lee for one I think has, has a lot of good attributes where when we played Lauren and you look down the, the team sheet when it comes in it's one of those if, if he was playing or not and ideally if he wasn't you know you were quite happy and quite content because of the energy and the qualities um, that he brought to the game so um, also, I think when you speak to some of our players as well, who've played up against them um, and, and tried to mark them, um, he's a real handful and a real headache from that point of view in relation to, the, number one, the qualities that he has um, with the ball, but also the energy he brings to the team. Obviously, I want to play a lot of games, a lot of minutes, have a lot of energy and I'll be super fit, so I'm just looking to go out and uh, stamp my authority on this team and, and help this squad and, and progress even more next year with the goals that are going to be set by the manager and by the club. And I think I can play a big part in that and they've shown a lot of faith in bringing me in here and, and what they've done for me already, so I want to repay that straight away and, and, and play well and play well for the team and, and become an integral part of this squad. I think when you see the physical qualities that he have, um, you know, I think in the majority of games he probably ends up travelling further distance than, than most in the league and, and I think you know, one of his best attributes and one that he's you know, I think praised for is, is his energy and, and his ability to get around the ground and um, I think even at his age I think you know, his, his body probably, he's just turned 30 but in the same stretch his, his body probably is more like something of a 24, 25 year old in relation to how he performs in a pitch and how he, go, how, how he moves around the pitch so for us from that point of view you know, we've we've spoke about it a few times in relation to, you know, moving from the grass pitch that we had on to the pitch that we have now, and and, and the type of qualities that we want to bring um, to add to the qualities that we've got already. And I think Lee very much um, is right top of that list in relation to what we were after. Look, obviously I'm new to it. I, I hope I get welcomed in well, and I'm looking forward to all of that sort of thing. And look, all that helps, and that's what you want because come the first game of the season, then you've bonded together and you're ready to go and ready to hopefully have a great year together. Um, it's okay to have the energy and it's okay to be able to run and do all of those things, but I think it's the ability to create chances either with the runs that he makes or also score a lot of goals. And you know, he's been quite prolific over his career. Um, he's got a good eye for a goal from that point of view, and I think it's something we expect from all of our midfielders is to try and, and, and weigh in with goals from that area. So I just think in all aspects of him, both on and off the pitch, in and out of the change room, I think his his personality, his attitude and everything is, is everything you would want about your club and everything uh, you would want to associate with, and we just can't wait to get working with him. I think what Oren's going to try to do next year and, and try and assemble the squad and, and really push on next season and I'm glad to be a part of it and hopefully a big part. We have our targets, we have players that we're actively going after at this point in time um, and hopefully making movement with. So yes, ideally, you know, the sooner the better for us because with the likes of Lee it means he can start pre-season with his new team, he can start from scratch where he's not coming in halfway through it and, and it allows him even further time to integrate in and to really settle himself in before the season starts and for other targets that we've got that would be the aim as well so for us it's about trying to get that work done um, as quickly as possible um, to ensure that we're in the right place when pre-season starts. Yeah I think you go through the natural progressions where I don't, you don't hear from anybody nearly for the first three weeks where I think everybody's just glad finally of the break and a bit of closure uh, on the season and everything else and then um, as you say the itch comes back then where, where everybody's mindset starts to shift again and with that we'll still keep it the way it is you know what the easiest thing to do would be bring people in now and then before you know it uh, you're still maybe in August or September time but for us it's about trying to maintain that we'll bring we'll be in probably for the end of the month around the probably 23rd 25th of the month um, and that'll get everybody back in and gives us plenty of time to get ready for the new season.